I know I am looking rough in this video, you guys, but bear with me. It was a long day and I ripped my lash eyelashes off before filming this video. Hola, me bishes. Tis I, Clovis, aka Manny Bish, on Insta. Uh, today we are doing something a little different and I am going to be sharing with you guys some favorites that I have in like all aspects of everything. Um, skin makeup, nails, a little bit of hair. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I guess um, we'll just go ahead and break the ice with the one item of hair that I have, which of course is my guy right here. I have to make sure I'm looking at my watch to make sure I'm in frame with you guys. Um, my Dyson, my Dyson. I did uh, curl my hair and everything earlier today and then I was uh, outside with my son and just, we threw her up in a like messy kind of ponytail, which honestly doesn't look that great, but um, whatever, we're doing this video. It's starting to get late in the night and um, I need, to film so I thought this would be a fun situation so next um that's my hair thing my husband bought that for me I love it I I love it yes to the Dyson um going into skin where do I start where do I start okay I'm gonna start here um this Tropic Glow Firming Whipped Shea Body Butter. This stuff is amazing. It looks like this. Uh, yeah, I clearly have used this. Um, it has a little bit of like a, I don't want to say a sparkle because it's not glittery, but it does have like a shimmer glisten to it, but it's not horrible. It's just, you put it on the skin and you can kind of like see the glow. That makes sense. I love this stuff. I use this um, not all the time, not consistently, because I love it so much that I don't want to overuse it and run out of it too quick and have to go buy another one. It's a whole thing. Um, I'm like that with a lot of things. But whenever Tree Hut has um, sales at Ulta, I typically like stock up on their stuff. So my next thing is going to be um, their body scrubs. I haven't used the vitamin C one yet. This is um, actually going in the shower with me tonight. It smells really good because um, I finished my last one like a few days ago. So uh, this one's going in the shower with me tonight. Love that. Keeping it with Tree Hut, we have the Tea Tree, Tea Tree? No, Tree Hut Moisturizing Shave Oil. I personally do not like the Tahitian Vanilla Bean. I'm, this is the only scent that they had at Target, I think is where I got this one. Um, I'm not a fan of vanilla too much, but I really wanted to try it, so I went ahead and bought the vanilla. And I, of course, am continuing to use it because I'm not wasting $10 for nothing. But this stuff works so good. You will get such a close shave with this. I'm going to be getting a different scent when I run out of this, but this is amazing. And it's even like blows my mind with um, the Flamingo razor. So these two together, we're going to give you the like cleanest shave you can imagine. It's so good so smooth your skin will be silky soft especially if you exfoliate um right before shaving like you get that extra layer of dead skin off and then you go in and shave you're gonna have such a close shave it's like gonna blow your mind um keeping in tune with like shower stuff for the skin these exfoliating mitts I still, I use a loofah like every time I take a shower, but about two times a week, I will use these guys 
and it just does something extra that the loofah does not do. I got these at Walmart for like a dollar, maybe two, but oh my God, these are amazing. I put them on while they're still dry. Um, then I run my hands under the water, get them all nice and wet, put the soap in my hand, scrub that together again, and then just go in on my body and yes your girl be so smooth and so soft first time i used those i didn't shave i didn't shave i used those it was like real late at night the day i had bought them and i was like i really want to try this i used them uh i didn't have time to shave so i didn't shave i um didn't even put lotion on that night i just took my shower hopped in bed and my husband felt my leg and he was like oh your skin is so smooth and soft and i was like I haven't shaved I'm not even wearing lotion like it's the exfoliating gloves I've been using them ever since it's a must now <laughs> so I do recommend getting some exfoliating gloves next I really 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 like the watermelon glow niacinamide dew drops from glow recipe you can get this at Sephora um I put mine in the fridge and just take it out, use it in the morning before my makeup or whatever, put it back and continue on like that over the next days. Like I like to keep this in the fridge because I'm gonna be 100% honest, I don't have time to be rolly ball in my face all the time with cold stuff. So if my skincare products are already cold, half the job is done, it's gonna help depuff and we're good. Um, and next is going to be, um, what is this? I love the, this, this is the just generic version of the Aquaphor, um, advanced healing ointment, skin protectant for dry, cracked or irritated skin, dermatologist tested. So I like to use this right here on my mouth because my skin right here is so sensitive it will start cracking like so bad it gets so irritated and then like I can't even eat because opening my mouth hurts so I will put this on before I eat and everything but that happens to me quite often and this stuff has really helped and on occasion I will actually put this on all over my skin before bed and wake up with nice moisturated skin um moisturized skin moisturated what and um yeah i i like this stuff but especially for my lips right here it helps a lot uh still skin i have been using the resurfacing retinol serum from cerave this stuff so i actually have a hack for your retinol this is just a cheap like i think it was like 14 dollars for it for this um this is just a cheap or version of like more expensive retinols that you could get um so how i apply my retinol is i apply that like two to three times a week more or less um not every night though and i will um <sighs> I will apply hyaluronic acid serum first and I will put that all over, pat it in. And then when my face is still like damp from that, I will go in right after that with a pea sized amount of this. And this, that hyaluronic acid layer is just going to help have a slick surface for it to be easier for this to slide around on. Because if you've used hyaluronic acid before you probably know that like it it can be hard to not have to go in for more because your skin just like absorbs it and so with the hyaluronic acid if you have that on first and then you rub it in and then you apply this it just creates that slip on your skin to make this go farther and you really don't need any more than a pea-sized amount, which is, you don't wanna overdo it with a retinol. Then after that, I use this every night, whether I use the retinol or not. 
with, is going to be the Olay Regenerist Retinol 24 Max. Uh, this is the Night Hydrating Moisturizer. I know that this says it has retinol in it, but it's also just a nice moisturizer and I find that it doesn't irritate my skin to double retinol like that. Um, however, I have already been through the purging um, situation of retinol. So if you didn't know, when you start to use retinol, there comes a point when you start to purge and your skin will just like break out really badly right in here. And that is because the retinol is literally pushing the layer of skin underneath outwards and breaking the surface of your current layer of skin. And it's like just gonna have all of that like dead stuff just coming up and out, getting rid of it all. That can last for like four to six weeks. Um, I honestly haven't experienced that with this. I have some hormonal acne going on right now because I just got off birth control, um, not to get pregnant, but that's a different story if anybody's interested in it. Um, anyways, I haven't noticed that with this. I've been using this for about a year now and I think I honestly went through the purging phase with this and I didn't even know it because last year, last year I started using this uh, around May, I think it was for Mother's Day that my husband got it for me, and it wasn't until like July, I actually did notice that I was getting like really rough breakouts here, and I honestly didn't know what it was from, I thought it was just like PMS kind of situation, I really did, I was like, I don't know what's going on, I'm breaking out like crazy, all this stuff, all the time, like, I don't know what's going on with my skin. Then... I did some research about retinol and I found that you can go through a purging phase and everything. And at this point it was already done and over with like the acne had actually started to clear up. And I was like, I don't know what I'm doing any differently, but it's disappearing, but it finally went away. And then I started researching retinol and I was like, Oh, well, that's weird. And then it occurred to me, this has retinol in it. And I was like, well, dang, I went through the whole purging phase without even knowing that I was doing it. And so I've made it past that situation. And now I am with my happy skin and everything. So to the retinol, yes, it really does help. Just get past the purging or don't even know you're purging and just think you're going crazy and then end up with clear skin, you know, like I did. Fun times, always fun. <laughs> um, next, I got this at the Sephora holiday sale. I am a VIB. I say unfortunately because I clearly spend too much money there to be a VIB. Um, but I got this guy and this was $24 and you get the full size berry Laneige um, sleeping mask. Then you get two smaller ones and these are holiday scents. You get peppermint and uh pumpkin spice the pumpkin spice one does not smell artificial at all it's it smells so good and so much like pumpkin spice that you want to eat it i was amazed that it didn't smell artificial at all so i got that and then i also picked up at the sephora sale i only got two things i also picked up these these four came in a bundle together for like 39 dollars, and i think one of these alone is 22 so you get four for the price of like one and a half pretty much um that is the tarte maracuja juicy lip i got two of just the regular juicy lips then it comes with a maracuja juicy lipstick and a lip plump and you get them i don't know if you're really really able to see and i don't want to swatch them because it's like a whole process but these are like the shades that i got um ginger rose cranberry and cherry blossom they feel amazing on the skin or on the lips on the skin no on the lips um also sorry if i seem like i'm rushing through this i'm not meaning to but i did already film this earlier today and it was way too long so your girl needs to stop um messing around and get the business done so 
Uh, next is going to be this Dr. Teal's Witch Hazel uh, Facial Toner in Rose Water. This stuff is really nice and soothing and calming on the skin. Oh my goodness. I put it on um, after my shower, after I washed my face and everything. I got out of the shower, I put it on. I'm like, I do that. It feels so good. And I mean, so yeah. next I'm going to do nails. And I'm going to, I don't really have like a favorite dip powder, like color wise or anything like that, because I just, I never really have the time or opportunity to reuse one over and over and over again, because that's what I do on YouTube. So I try and mix it up and all the stuff, you know? So, um, my favorites for nails are, of course, Horse. Could you have guessed? Manny Boss. So I love, love, love their gels. Gel base coat, gel top coat, matte gel top coat, two in one gel base and top coat. Love those. All of those. They're the only ones that stick to my skin, that stick to my nails, and I don't have any peeling issues with. And I am so appreciative of that because before I didn't even want to try any gel because I'm like, what's the point in spending my money on it if it's gonna peel? And I heard um, Chelsea Sip and Dip talk about the two-in-one gel and I was like, you know what? She She's making me wanna try it. So that was the first one I tried last year. I bought it. I loved it. I immediately fell in love with it. I was like, wow, this is crazy. And when they came out with their other gel, uh products i was like yep sign me up sign me up and i got them and i love them so yes manny boss for that manny boss for the dip liquids as well base coat or yeah base coat um dip top coat activator i use the whole shebang from them i love it their dip top coat is like I honestly love their dip top coat. Like, I love all of their stuff, but their dip top coat, y'all. There's something about it. It looks like glass on the nails. Like, to me, their dip top coat looks more gel-like than their gel top coat. It looks like glass. It's so shiny. It's so just, yes, what you want. And it dries so fast for me uh i i can't rave enough about it i love it and i don't get cracking i don't get chips or anything like it i love their dip top coat and i also love their pill base i can't really get on with the uh unt unt pill base from amazon i have some issues with that one when even with just one layer of that, it does not want to stick. My nails will pop off the like within two to three days. And that's if it's on my natural nail or on top of an overlay, they just pop off. And so I got this to try. And with this, I use about two layers, two full layers, one extra swipe down the center. And I can get longevity out of my Manny and still be able to pop it off just fine. So yes, and this isn't really a favorites product, but this is a technique that I've been really liking lately. And that is using the like full on acrylic stuff to do my overlay. Instead of trying to, you know, do dip and clear as an overlay and then dip on top of that after the pill base, um, I still get on with builder gel, but um, I still love the Builder Gel too as an overlay, but for the past like month and a half now, I've been using acrylic only. So I've been using the Kiara Sky Monomer Eye Gel Beauty Clear and the Kiara Sky Kalinsky Brush Number 10 and doing my overlays with that. And so these nails, they're actually built, um, I used a form for them and built them out with acrylic and I have had like little to no lifting at all as they're growing out. I've done two fills now already. Um, 
and I just, I don't know, I, I love it. It, I love it. That is like my favorite right now for that. So that's my favorites for nails. And I guess now we can into makeup. So for makeup, um, there's like, a, I don't really have a whole like situation, but I will tell you what I like do love. I have been loving the e.l.f. vitamin C putty primer and I will put this on. It makes your skin just glow. It is beautiful. It blurs some. It helps the makeup just like go wide on top of it. It's honestly, yes, one of my, dang it, I did that. One of my favorites. Um, I don't really need primer because I'm currently wearing makeup that's going to be falling off my face soon. They did this. They did this and they did it so good. This is the like viral dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Uh, this is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. This stuff is freaking amazing. Honestly, 100% my opinion. But in my honest opinion, it is better than the Charlotte Tilbury one. This was $14. The mini of the Charlotte Tilbury is $15. And it's like that size. You get so much product in here for $14. And it gives you more coverage than the Flawless Filter does. I know it's like a glow thing. It's not meant to have coverage. But you can wear it on its own if you like to. I like to. But it does give you some coverage. It evens your skin tone out. It provides coverage. Like you put it on and it just like, at first it might not look like it. Then all of a sudden you look back up and you're like, I didn't put foundation on. Excuse me. It just looks so good. It's, I love this. I highly recommend. I, they sell this at Target if you can find it and on Elf's website. So yes, um, so in my like makeup routine, I will moisturize, um, prime. I'll go in with my Holly or Holly, no, the Halo Glow filter. If sometimes I use it or I use it more often than not, but sometimes I feel like I don't need it or don't want it. So I won't always use it. But then after that, directly before foundation, and I mean right before foundation, I will actually, I have so many, it honestly doesn't matter which one I use because I like the way it looks no matter what with this technique, setting spray. Before your foundation, try it. Setting spray, drench it, and then just do -do 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 -do. let your face dry some. Go in with your foundation, which no surprise to y'all, my favorite, Makeup Forever HD. Um, that's what I still use. So I'll let it dry, go in with my foundation. It applies so smooth. The coverage, the like, it's amazing. It's amazing. The setting spray, then the foundation. I honestly don't even use setting spray anymore at the end of my routine. I only use it before my foundation now. And I apply my foundation with the e.l.f. putty applicator. This brush is so amazing for your foundation. I will use it for the, uh, I use this part for the uh, primer and then I'll just put it on, do this, then go in with all the other stuff I do. Then when I'm ready for my foundation, put a half a pump on, do one side of my face, half a pump other side, and then a tiny little pump for my forehead. And that's that. And then for bronzers and blushes, y'all, these are honestly just like some of the favorites that I like freaking love these. It's the She Glam from Shein um, contour bronzer blush. These are freaking amazing. They blend like butter, butter, so good. And they're $5. Can you beat that? No. So I do really, really, really love these. 
For concealer, one of my favorites is the NYX Bear With Me um, Serum Concealer. This, I honestly, some days when I don't feel like doing a whole big shebang on my face, will go in with this all over. And it gives a really good coverage all over the face with a nice glow. I really love this concealer. It's it come, The weird thing about it, though, I will say, is that it comes in a pump. So that's like kind of like how am I supposed to get it in my under eye? I pump it and then, or I'll put it directly on my brush and whatever. But this is so good. It does not crease on me. It doesn't look heavy. It doesn't look cakey. It is honestly one of my favorites, like my go-to favorite. And then for eyebrows, I also have the um, clear gel and the um, thickening or whatever gel that has little microfibers in it for your eyebrows. But I also have the pencil. And this is the Kosas one. These are so nice because when I first started using these, I had like sparse eyebrows, but they have the health like skin hair benefits in them and I've honestly noticed a huge difference in like the thickness of my brows like they I don't even know like they, they're just better with after using these Kosas products so I really think that they've helped grow my eyebrows back and I love the clear gel because it's not like that stiff like gel where you like go like this and it's like like, I can't stand that. I know it's a trend. I know the stiff brow situation is like, you want them glued to your face. I don't like that. I don't like it. With their clear gel, you can like touch your eyebrow and it still feels soft, but it stays in place. And I appreciate that. So, yeah. Um, one of my favorites for mascara, if I could find it, I'm not going to be able to find it. It's the, um, hello. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to find it. Um, the Lash Snack, Snack Lash, Lash Snack from Item Beauty. It has a tiny wand compared to all of the other mascaras I have, like, seen. It's just the weirdest thing, but it is so good it I don't know I really like it and I also really like the size that it is is so good for the bottom lashes too I'm really enjoying that mascara and of course I can't find it to show it to you guys so you know lovely time for me there um next I'm going to be talking about the brushes because I already talked about one brush so I'm gonna keep with it and talk about these ones I love to use this brush. This is the Rare Beauty Foundation brush. And I honestly love this for my, sorry, I didn't mean to flip you guys off, for my contour and blush. It just blends everything on your cheeks so nicely. And then for powder, bronzer and blush, I like to use the e.l.f. Uh, airbrush stipple. And that's this guy. I have two of these because I like to use one for my powdered brush, my powdered blush and bronzer. Then I like to use my other one for my um, setting powder, like under the eye and around my mouth. And the setting powder that I really, really enjoy is, I've been really liking both of these. Um, this one is the pressed setting powder. It's the cloud set from Bree or cloud set in the shade breezy from Kosas. And it looks like this and it's not drying or anything it honestly let me let me show y'all what it does it's just this like nice like see it takes away the like oiliness but it doesn't like make it ridiculously like matte you know it's a lovely one and I also really like for loose setting powder the light uh, shade light and the rare beauty setting powder because this also is more of a glowy setting powder It's not going to like make you just flat matte and I appreciate that I'll go ahead and share this with you guys too because this is one of my faves 
um, the NYX Lift and Snatch Eyebrow Pencils. So I have like a little bit right here where my hair just doesn't want to grow. And I will use these two. This is in the shade Blonde and Taupe. And I will alternate with these shades because I'm a little bit of both, honestly, in my eyebrows. So I'll alternate with them and just create those hair strokes in the front. And I love it because it looks like that. It's just a felt tip. So, yeah. Last one. Last one. The ColourPop Freckle Pin in Soft Brown. I use this, not for freckles, honestly. I use it after I put on my makeup and these get, my little freckle or like beauty marks get covered up and like dulled. I'll just come in and like re-darken them with this guy. And no lie, when I was going through that whole like breaking out situation, no lie, on the acne scars that I had like around here, I would go in on on top of them with this and create more like freckle like uh situations but it just covered it up better and it made it look more like natural marks instead of acne scars so pro tip if you have that issue so yeah guys that those are my favorites my everyday go-to favorites if y'all want any more makeup videos hair videos i really like doing hair too um let me know and I will be on that because I like to switch it up even though nails are my focus because I feel like I have more creative freedom with the nails. Um, I really do enjoy hair and makeup too. So it's just the editing. I need to get down on those videos so they're not drastically long. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye! Bye!